Good morning, boys, and welcome to CMTV Teacher Jeopardy. I am your host, PJ Rubik's Cube Trahan, and we're bringing back this series from its original air date in 2012 with Jack Grubner hosting and featuring Mr. Wentworth, Mr. Atkins, and Mr. Chef. Let's get right to the competition and meet our contestants. Let's meet Mr. Spanner, the chairman of the Fine Arts Department. How are you doing, Mr. Spanner? Uh, I'm not doing too well. Why? Wow, what's the problem? Yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Wow, wow, that's a that's quite a big water bottle. I'm a big guy. Okay, let's meet our next contestant, Mr. Golden, head varsity football coach. How are you doing, Mr. Golden? How are we doing today, lads? Two hours drive to school today, lads. Let's get it going, boys. Okay, last but not least, Mr. Murray, director of Well, not much anymore. How are you doing, Mr. Murray? Thank you, PJ. My name is Mr. Murray. First name Mr., last name Murray. I used to be in charge of a lot of things, but now I just print stuff. Except, coach the swim team. I actually do some stuff here. Okay, thank you, Mr. Murray. No, no. Thank you. Okay then, let's get to the game. Today's categories are theology, printing, you'll never know it, Random and college. Mr. Golden, the choice is yours. Ah, uh, sweet. Uh, I'd like to choose theology 300 less. Okay, theology for 300. Name one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Mr. Golden. Uh, my answer is definitely not BTI. Okay, that's incorrect. Mr. Murray. The 12 apostles. That's also incorrect. Mr. Spanner. Yeah. Sorry, that is also incorrect. None of those answers are correct. You could have any, said anything from the Bible, and it would have been closer than what you guys said. Well, since you said something that actually had to do with theology, Mr. Murray, it is your choice. Well, you see, I would like to choose print for a hunt. Okay, the question is, in what dimension does a 3D printer print? Well, you see, when you have a printer that is called a 3D printer, it prints things that you can touch and feel. But when you go to a movie that's in 3D, you can't touch and feel the things that are in a movie. Like this realistic printing of wrestle enthusiast Mr. Strunk. This, gentlemen, is in 4D. Okay, that is not even close. Uh, Mr. Golden. Um, uh, especially out of more printers. Okay, uh, Mr. Spanner. To D or to not to D? <laughs> uh, very funny. Again, none of those are correct. Mr. Spanner, you are next. Why is he next? Because he's the chair of the music department? Big deal. Oh my god. You, you have got to be kidding me right now. Ha! This guy. Hey, you judge a fish by his ability to climb a tree, but look at his whole life thing in his ear. Okay, okay, fellas. Let's get back to the game. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you, no, Mr. Murray. No, no. Thank you. Okay, as I was saying, Mr. Spanner, it is your turn to choose a category. Uh, you'll never know it for 500. You'll never know it for 500. What was Mr. Murray's college mascot? Uh, fish. That's incorrect. Mr. Golden. Roll time. Also incorrect, Mr. Marhay. Quakers. Ooh, sorry, none of those answers are correct. Hey, God, what do you mean those answers are correct? I think you answered wrong. I think I know my mascot where I went to college. No college would ever name their mascot the Quakers. What would your fight song be? Ho, 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 jeez. God. I'm telling you, we can see. Can I get an answers check? Whoops, folks, that must be a typo. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, and let's get back to Mr. Golden. Please choose a category. Huh. 
Random 400. Okay, random for 400. How many days will be in the month of February 2016? This is high. 354 days. Okay, Mr. Murray. 30. All right, Mr. Spanner. Twenty-eight. Well, the correct answer was twenty-nine. It is now time for Final Jeopardy. Please put your wagers down on the paper. Okay, and the Final Jeopardy question is, Mr. Spanner went to Skidmore College, home of the thoroughbred. What is a thoroughbred? Okay, Mr. Spanner, please stop writing. Let's see your answers. Mr. Golden, what did you put down? In Bone side down. And what was your wager? 354. Okay, Mr. Mari, let's what is your answer? Italian or French bread. And what was your wager? X equals a thousand. Okay, and finally, Mr. Spanner, what is your answer? Swiggly hoo-ha. And what was your wager? Two hundred. All were incorrect, and the answer was horse. Ha! Ah, your college mascot is a thoroughbred? Who would have known it was a horse? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Quaker. Jeez. Oh, I see, Maestro. You. Alright, men. Oh my god. Men, oh. men, 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 men. Let's keep it civil. Well, that, the score is, wait. This just in, our previous question has been deemed correct by our judges. Mr. Murray did in fact go to a college where the mascot was a Quaker. He is awarded 500 points and that will be enough to put this game away. What? That's all for CMTV Jeopardy. Join us next time. I'm PJ Tron and remember- As they say in France, we're done here lads.